My name is Jasper. I work as project manager for Stichting Aap and the Born to be Wild project here in Morocco on the rehabilitation and reintroduction of Barbary macaques in Tazaka National Park. And what an enormous amount of work we did to get these animals here in the last 48 hours. Successfully darted. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well done. 90, so let me just have a look. 97.66. Yeah, that's the correct mill. And this is number 21. This is number 21. Okay. I did. Let me put that on the box. With the Born to Be Wild project, we uh, have been working for several years to make sure that Barbary macaques, which have been illegally kept uh, here by people in Morocco, uh, were able to be confiscated. Today is the day that actually we're going to move most of these Barbary macaques to a new place in Tasaka National Park, which is a great, yeah, the best solution for these animals. We make sure all the animals get an extensive health checks. We want to be really sure that none of these animals is ill or has a disease, which we take along with the Barbary macaques to Tazaka. So we really want to make sure that all these animals are completely healthy. 16, 15. Today, uh, the first step of uh, this program is to check uh, the, the health of these animals and after that we put them in the crates, we give them antidotes to help them waken up and uh, we will take them back to their, uh, we will take them to their new environment after that. This is one of the biggest programs that we have because um, these animals, it, they are very important because they are uh, confiscated animals. So we gathered from the illegal uh, trade. So, uh, and after being confiscated, we brought them to the zoo. And it's our first primate reintroduction here in Morocco. So we are really excited. Introducing animals back into the wild, especially animals which have been kept for a couple of years in the wild, uh, or in, sorry, in captivity, obviously they need time and they need training to go back into the wild. But that's what we're going to give to them. We give them the time, we give them the right facilities and the right care to become normal monkeys again and to become wild monkeys again. We have done a lot of work uh, before arriving this, to, to this day. A lot of work with app, uh, capacity building, uh, infrastructure, and some equip equipment in Tazka National Park and in Rabat Zoo. And uh, we work to some protocols, health protocols, scientist studies to see if the if the if the, if the Tazka National Park can host these animals. We learn a lot about how to reintroduce animals. We some capacity building for our teams. So uh, it's really a good as a technical assistance for us and financial assistance to, to support the Barbary Macaque Action Plan. Thank you. 
7 o'clock in the morning, we are in the Tazaka National Park now and as you can see behind me the truck with the Barbary macaques is just arriving and uh, we're going to first have a look to see how they're doing. They have been driving for 10 hours. And this is always quite an exciting moment because and also yeah, you want to see how these animals look like now. Eh? They've been on the road for more than 10 hours. It's been a very stressful night for them, very unusual. So we, yeah, we, we're going to see now how they look like, how their eyes look like, and uh, hopefully we'll all be okay. The first boxes I can see at the moment um, are all looking, the animals are looking okay. So I suggest that we are going to offload them one by one now. So you can see they're now offloading the animals and uh, I was trying to give them a hand actually and but no no they want to do this themselves. Um, they're so proud of these animals coming here and they're so proud of their job as rangers of the park here in Tazaka that uh, they can welcome these Barbary macaques. This is actually the first phase uh, of going back to the wild again. These enclosures yeah, are re rehabilitation enclosures. What we're going to do now, after these animals have settled in a couple of weeks, we're going to try and form groups uh, which are much more natural than the current groups are now. So we're going to make sure that there are some adult females, some adult males and some juveniles in there and we're going to try and make groups of about 15, 60 animals. Um, that's actually what we call the resocialization process. We want to make sure that these animals are able to live together again as a group of Barbary macaques in a natural way. Yeah. 